Have you ever stopped to think about the cost of school education? It's 15 years, 15,000 hours, and over $150,000. This is the cost of school education. With this huge investment in education, what would we want to focus on? Learn how to solve multivariable equations? Or how to solve complex life problems? Learn about the history of revolutions? Or develop the capability to drive the next one? Gather facts about the human body? Or develop a healthy and fit body? It's clear. We all want an education system that can help us become a capable person. Someone ready to take on life. But the question is, is our current education system aligned with this goal? Unfortunately, it's not. But why? Well, because the roots of our current education system lie in the 19th century Persian model of education, which focused on imparting knowledge to create factory workers and drive obedience. That was the need of that society at that time. But it's been 200 years. Might it be time for a little change? In today's connected world, knowledge is abundant and free. We need an education system that goes beyond imparting knowledge. Since the challenge of the past was access to knowledge, the challenge we face today is that we have limitless access to it. So my proposal, life school, a new concept for education, a system that will focus on creating physically fit, emotionally stable, socially responsible, knowledgeable, and well-rounded individuals. Life school will have three areas of focus, developing personality, building and applying knowledge, and achieving physical fitness. But what do these three things mean in practice? Well, personality refers to the values and the attitudes that shape the thought process of someone. It influences how one interacts with the world. Life school will focus on both internal and external aspects of personality. Life school will first teach the right mindset. It will focus on core personality shaping aspects developing resilience and self-confidence, nurturing empathy, fostering risk-taking, and managing emotions through meditation. It will also comprehensively ensure the effective manifestation of personality by working on skills such as collaboration, networking, social media management, dressing to impress, and even dining etiquette. The second area of focus of life school will be knowledge. Knowledge is abundant and free. We can even say it's an era of information overload. Recognizing the evolving needs of students faced with information overload, teachers will teach students how to navigate through the avalanche of information and find relevant and reliable sources of information. Post that through thought-provoking discussions, Teachers will help students develop the ability to interpret the information. Lastly, through project-based learning methods, the teachers will teach students how to apply this knowledge to solve real-world problems. This way, students will learn how to solve problems independently and be better set up for future problem-solving scenarios they face throughout life. The third core pillar of life school will be physical fitness. Why the focus on physical fitness? Well, because a study in the Journal of Applied Gerontology from 2011 found that higher levels of physical fitness were associated with higher levels of life satisfaction. Physical fitness can be achieved through two levers, a healthy diet and regular exercise. Life School will teach students about the benefits of a nutritious diet, help them build a, customary, a customized dietary plan, and help them stay on track. For physical fitness, a customized exercise regimen will be made for every student. Students will be graded every quarter based on their achievements of their own health goals. Now, turning to history, we can see that Life School isn't a new concept 
rather a forgotten one. In ancient times in India, there was the Gurkul system of education. In that system, along with subject matter expertise, the emphasis was on character building and all-rounded development, including physical fitness, moral values, and spiritual development. This system was used for thousands of years, producing many notable scholars, thinkers, and leaders. Now, from more modern times, the military schooling system. This system provides a well-rounded education because its focus is not just on academics, but also on physical and mental conditioning, leadership training, and character building. This system was produced, has produced many alums who have achieved great things personally and professionally. Now, having been convinced of the benefits of the system of life school, it is essential to understand how exactly traditional schools can transition to the method of life school. Seemingly arduous transition can be achieved through gradual changes. The first step is redefining education's purpose, from imparting knowledge to building capable individuals. Next, we must increase the weightage of extracurriculars. Bring to that to equal focus and remove the extra from extracurriculars. Then we must learn up from our traditional education system and increase the relevance of projects and community activities. These elements provide a bridge to transition to the concept of life school. However, it will also require fundamental level changes. The curriculum needs to adapt to include greater emphasis on physical fitness, personality development, and application of knowledge. Teachers must be trained and equipped with skills to facilitate problem-solving skills in new ways, more relevant to today's problems. Supporting infrastructure and resources must be ascertained to promote health, fitness, experimentation, and collaboration. Above all, a performance measurement methodology must be developed to measure holistic progress. Comparing individuals with different strengths will be the most challenging part to figure out. A growth in mindset will be complicated to quantify. Despite these challenges, it's clear that this is the future of education. A future that will empower students to lead happier and more fulfilling lives. It will produce well-rounded individuals with better problem-solving abilities, a stronger sense of civic duty, improved physical and mental well-being, a heightened environmental awareness, who will positively impact the world. Now, imagine a day where along with math and science, we will have classes on building resilience, information literacy, persona creation, and networking. Along with course projects, we work on projects of collaborative problem solving, healthy living, and creating financial plans and creating a startup plan. Let's revolutionize education. Because as Oprah Winfrey said, education is not just about learning facts and figures. It's about teaching individuals how to live their lives and make the world a better place. Thank you.